The Good Life Tampa Bay TV show is about the people, places, and events that make great things happen here in the Bay Area. We love to go out and bring you the exciting stories and features that help make our city one of the greatest places to live and visit. So get ready to join me on another fun-filled journey to learn about some of the cool happenings right here on this episode of Good Life Tampa Bay. Hello, and welcome to Good Life Tampa Bay, the show that brings you the people, places, and events that make exciting things happen here in the Bay Area. I'm your host, H. John Mejia. In this segment, I had a chance to attend a very special one-year anniversary. Here's my story. All right, tonight we're in Clearwater at Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay's Donation and Empowerment Center's first anniversary celebration. Let's take a look. What an incredible first year it's been for the Hands Across the Bay Donation and Empowerment Center, as it has become a safe refuge to help families and survivors to shop for basic necessities they need to get back on their feet. That's in addition to the continual support they provide for other charitable organizations, as well as holding classes to mentor and help others in the community. And it also provides a home base for volunteers to come together to provide various acts of kindness throughout the year. Through the generous donation from Windstar Homes and the Golden Diamond Source, They have made this safe haven a reality. Let me tell you, the entire Hands Across the Bay team was so grateful for the overwhelming support they received this past year, and we're excited about this evening's gathering. We're so excited. It's our one-year anniversary, and all the things that have been accomplished here in our Empowerment Center is just so beautiful. I mean, it's enabled us to be able to impact people in such a more, you know, impactful way. So we're so happy to have it. Today is just a celebration of and thanks to all our sponsors and donors and volunteers that have made this all happen. So we're just grateful to be able to be here a year later and continue to help so many families. I'm just so grateful and humbled that we've come so far and we've been able to make such a difference. I am so excited to celebrate with everybody tonight. It's been so incredible to see what we've done in just 12 months here at this Empowerment and Donation Center. We are so blessed to have everyone back here again, have new faces here that are now supporting us. So it's been a blessing. Now, because of the center, Hands Across the Bay was able to help so many families. We just counted our numbers for this last year. We've already helped over 205 families that have come here through just our referral program, another over 150 for backpacks. We've given, um, we've done first responder groups. We've done our warrior wellness groups. Truly the impact of our first year was so amazing. I actually got tears in my eyes when I was looking over the numbers and thinking about this night and how far we've come. Now, part of tonight was about honoring so many supporters, which included those who supported Hands Across the Bay from the very beginning. That includes Dr. Joe and Ali Fitzgerald from the Pure Life Meta Spa and Harvey and Sherry Shunbrun from the law offices of Harvey Shunbrun, PA. And of course, a big acknowledgement to Windstar Homes, who made the commitment to renovate the building donated by the Golden Diamond Source. It's pretty amazing because they really have so many things for so many people in need here. And now we have a place that we're able to, like, bring in extra clothing for for women who need it or for anyone. It's everything that they do, the people that they help, that every penny that we give goes right to the charity and not to administrators. We're just committed to try to help Hands Across the Bay fulfill its mission and its purpose. And we're just honored to be able to, in a small way, help. It all started in the process of the renovation. And I think you can recall on that because we even had someone here who was getting ready to commit suicide, a helper, you know, we went through a lot. So this place has been blessed. We're able to provide guidance support and more importantly hope that can actually bring forth a new beginning for all of those that have been afflicted by the circumstances of of, of the challenges that they have faced. As I got older in my life I I got more into charity work and but they're like the Michael Jordan of charity work as far as this town goes and um, they're, they're really they are changing lives. She's been making waves in the community for years, but the Empowerment Center is really the materialization of all the hard work and everything she's been doing to help the people in our community who need it most. Well, I've been on this board for about seven years, and and because I am a crisis counselor, I'm involved in some of the, the, the ugly things that go on in this industry, and Julie and Hands Across the Bay 
they actually get the job done. And oh yeah, tonight, Hands Across the Bay also recognized three supporters with awards. Tom Free received the Ripple Effect Award. Kathy Pegram received the Kindness Warrior of the Year Award, which was accepted by her husband. And the Philanthropist of the Year Award went to Brett and Lisa Vickers. Fabric of the community is what's important and the lifeblood of the community and Julie and Steve are, are part of the heart that actually helps that lifeblood be through the community by what they do. Now, one of the special rooms in the center is Eric's Playroom, created in loving memory of Eric Pyburn, who was at Hands Across the Bay Kindness Warrior and passed away about a year ago. They gave us what they needed to, but then he, we were able to give back more to the community because of them. Um, and then being part of the Empowerment Center is is just over the top like when we knew he was getting his own little room he was telling us what had to be in that room like what toys what gifts what these kids were going to need when they came in here as always many tampa bay media personalities and community leaders were on hand to share their love and support hands across the bay has so many hands across the bay Literally, if it's Pinellas County, if it's Hillsborough County, if it's Pasco County, they have a way to help. And that's what's so important about this place. They, they, have, they reach far and wide. It's amazing how much they can do. There are people suffering terribly, going through tragic things that we just have blinders on to. And so to be able to hear what they've been through and re remind yourself, hey, you got to find a way to help and just be, be encouraged by what Julie and her team do, it's, it's very powerful. To be able to see how many families, how many women, how many children that they've helped, honestly, you get really emotional about it. And this is what life is about. In a year, she has done just amazing things to help people. I've known Julie now for 10 years, and every time I meet with her, I'm just inspired by her dedication and her great work to helping people in the community. They are the most benevolent people that I have ever met in my life. And this is just one more symbol of their benevolence. You walk into this building and it's free for people that, are, that need a, to be lifted up. What an absolutely incredible celebration about uplifting those in need here in the Tampa Bay community. I just want to give a heartfelt thank you to the Tampa Bay community for all the support of Hands Across the Bay. Thank you so much for joining our celebration of our one year. We are so grateful to the entire Tampa Bay community for all you do for us. And uh, we're just grateful we could be here and be here tonight, one year later. Thank you. We love you guys. Just a heartfelt thank you to the entire Tampa Bay community for all of your support of Golden Diamond Source and Hands Across the Bay. None of this would be possible without you, so thank you so much. Wow, what an absolutely incredible evening of giving back. From Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay, for Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, you too can join the Hands Across the Bay community and help make a difference. Just go to their website at handsacrossthebay.org. That's handsacrossthebay.org. Hey, don't touch that remote. There's more Good Life Tampa Bay to come on the other side of this break. Because I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. Make sure it's a Golden Diamond Source diamond. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. In the Zone TV, when you need video production with marketing power, check out their website at inthezonetv.com. Hey, welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay. Now, let's check out an exciting New Year celebration that took place in Tampa. This amazing park, located right next to Armature Works, in this historic Tampa Heights neighborhood is located right off the beautiful waterfront views of the Tampa Riverwalk, which runs along the sparkling Hillsborough River. And it was the perfect venue in preparation for today's spectacular day of celebration. All right, today we're at Waterworks Park in Tampa for the Chinese New Year celebration. Let's check it out. Over a thousand people in Tampa Bay came together to celebrate this special day as there were over 150 dancers and performances. Did you know that the Chinese New Year is the most important festival for Chinese people? Also known as the Lunar New Year, it's celebrated by many other Asian countries in addition to China. 
So many people celebrate the upcoming year to bring good luck, health, happiness, peace, and prosperity. Today's event was hosted by the Suncoast Association of Chinese Americans. So this is a major holiday for Chinese people. Like I explained on the stage, back in thousands of years old as history, people work in farms. They don't get holidays break. So the only time they get to catch up with their family and reunited is the Chinese Lunar New Year. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor's appointee presented the proclamation of Chinese Lunar New Year's Day at today's opening ceremony acknowledging the Asian Americans living in the Tampa Bay area and shared an appreciation of the meaning of this event. We're very grateful and very honored to have Mayor Castor always been supporting our event throughout the year. And particularly Chinese New Year, she always sends us a uh, proclamation for each year. She also signed a proclamation for the Chinese Lunar New Year of Rabbit. Let me tell you, today was full of cultural performances live music, opera performances, traditional and modern dance, including the coolest iconic lion dance that set the tempo right from the opening ceremony. In the Chinese culture, the lion symbolizes power, wisdom, and superiority. The dance is commonly performed during the new year to bring good luck and drive away evil spirits. And the lion dancers were accompanied by drum musicians. Today's performance was from the Tampa Chinese School, vendors specializing in different East and Southeast Asian cuisines, as well as various handcrafted merchandise and an original art exhibit sale too. I'm so excited to see all this culture and um, everybody get together, exciting to eat all this good food. And we're about to try to some, some Chinese food, some Filipino food later, and then I'm gonna go find a good dessert to have as well. It's a lot of family reunions and people get to have fun, meet other people, have, eat food together, have a giant feast pretty much. I grew up here um, and it's been very nice to see this growth in our community um, and more of that embracing of all the different things that we have to offer here as a community. Let me tell you, all the various vendors were all so supportive to share in today's celebration. We have a wonderful group of USF medical students, so uh, we do that a lot for our communities. You know, we have a lot of Asian um, population where we have undiagnosed high blood pressure, diabetes, and we're really here, you know, to help them celebrate their new year, but also help them to improve their health. I created a thousand pieces of painting since 2017 April. Last year is the first year I pushed my art out. My art is abstract because to me art is a connection. I think Chinese culture is a very solid traditional culture. It's full of wisdom. It's like my name. My name Wai Ching means wisdom of a bright star. Well it's nice to be able to uh, celebrate some multicultural events so I, I love that Tampa does that. Uh, it's good to see a bunch of people coming together and enjoying, you know, the Chinese New Year. So at Truist, we like to be inclusive and equitable and, and diverse. So it's a great thing that we're being able to be a part of it. We're so happy we have multi uh, different cuisines and multi Asian culture uh, flavor this year. Not just Chinese, we have Thai food, we have Filipino food, and we have uh, Japanese, we have um, boba tea, you name it. One of the special vendors I spoke to was the Tampa Chinese School, who teaches children and adults how to speak and write Mandarin, as well as teaching the richness of the Chinese culture to the next generation here in the U.S. As I mentioned, it was their students and supporters that performed today's lion dance, as well as performed with their Chinese musical instruments. I'm so grateful for the Tampa Chinese School giving me this opportunity and us, everybody here to celebrate Chinese New Year together. I got to perform like our cultural instrument in front of everybody to like show what it was like to like play the instrument. It, the culture is really cool and interesting and it's great that I get to learn it locally. There's so many people that's gathered around here from all different races and cultures to experience what it's like to be part of the um, Chinese New Year festival. Every like, New Year, everybody have like, a new wish and then we, we, like, the kids can enjoy like, the Chinese culture. And then you get to learn with your classmates and uh, it's fun, yeah, it's fun. It's a good learning experience for everyone. You can learn about our culture. And of course, the Chinese panda came to the celebration and all the kids enjoyed getting their pictures with the big panda, as well as some of the adults too. The panda is noted to bring blessings, peace, love, and happiness. 
what an absolutely incredible day it was to share in today's celebration of this Chinese Lunar New Year tradition. Thank you very much, Tampa Bay community and all the people, the Tampa Bay citizens and the residents here. We're so grateful and blessed to be able to live in this wonderful place, Tampa Bay area. We feel very comfortable and very welcome and very accepted in this community. We thank you and appreciate your acceptance. All right, that's a wrap from the Chinese New Year here at Waterworks Park. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, be sure to check out the Suncoast Association of Chinese Americans on Facebook at Saka Tampa Bay. And check out the Tampa Chinese School on Facebook at Tampa Traditional Chinese School. Hey, there's more great stories to come here on Good Life Tampa Bay. Cause I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. Make sure it's a Golden Diamond Source diamond. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. In the Zone TV, when you need video production with marketing power, check out their website at inthezonetv.com. All right, now in this Good Life Tampa Bay segment, I had a chance to attend a charity party with Bond, James Bond. This evening's spectacular venue is at Armature Works, located in the historic Tampa Heights neighborhood. All right, tonight we're in Tampa for the 2023 Bespoke & Company's seventh annual signature event. Here's my story. This premier charity event took it to another level as it was an unforgettable evening of cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, craft bourbon, and specialty wine bars. Unique, custom, Bespoke & Company fashions that were modeled by local personalities and favorite Tampa Bay pro athletes. There were high-stake casino games and live music from Electric Avenue that kept everyone dancing into the night. Tonight's theme transported all of us into a James Bond Goldfinger movie with 007 himself making a fashionable appearance after he parachuted into tonight's event. In addition, there was an exclusive live and silent auction items, including luxury international trips and a $20,000 Bespoke & Company fashion package. All the energy and excitement tonight were all to generate funds benefiting the American Cancer Society. For event host and Bespoke & Company owner David Kahn, it was a perfect evening of so many things all coming together for the benefit of giving back. Incredible night, so much support from all of our sponsors. American Cancer Society is an incredible charity. We're so glad to give something back to the community. My Buccaneers clients and their wives, thank you very much. Um, just a great night. RSBP event and PR president Brooke Palmer was so excited to help deliver this next level James Bond experience for the ultimate giving back design. Honestly, you know, this event's getting so big and so much fun and we're raising so much money for American Cancer Society that we have to make it something great. I want people to walk out of here and be like, I can't wait to come back next year. I can't wait to sponsor the event, no matter who you're doing it for. We're just really trying to create a signature event that people year after year want to come to. Bespoke & Company is an upmarket store providing custom-made, hand-tailored suits, shirts and garments for men and women. They provide the look of sophisticated elegance, and they were so grateful to have local personalities, pro athletes, sponsors, and clients take the time to walk the runway fashion show wearing their clothes to help this evening's charity. The sponsors make this event happen, and then all of my special guests and my athletes and my models, you know, I couldn't do it without them. No, I'm always excited to help David out. He's, uh, I mean, he's been a friend for 20 years now and uh, just, just happy to be here, And I, I've, especially since it's going for a great cause. That's, that's the most important thing. We're raising money for a great cause, and I'm just very honored and happy to be here. It's an event I think we all look forward to. Uh, you know, David and everyone at Bespoke does such a great job. Um, looks like the best year yet. Um, but, I mean, just to get everyone to come out, uh, support a good cause, it's just awesome to be involved with. You know, it's a lot of fun here with a bunch of great people and supporting Dave in such a great cause. So uh, anytime we can come out for the community and raise awareness for a great cause here, we're willing to do it. And 
Uh, we're surrounded with a great group of wives, friends, family, so it's a lot of fun. I think it's fantastic. I mean, he, he gets some clients, some other members of the community, some professional sports players, and it's just a tremendous job with, with the event, and it's a lot of fun. And, and doing the fashion show in the middle of it just sort of adds that extra element of something different. And the American Cancer Society organization was so grateful for all the efforts towards tonight's donation. It's me so much because this helps us fund our mission. And for all the generous donations we're having tonight, I mean, it's a great thing. I mean, it gives us the opportunity to save lives. And so we're really excited about that. Now, all who walk the runway were willing to feel a little out of their element to contribute to the charity. And of course, they all trusted David to make them look good. I'm really happy to be here, along with a lot of my teammates. And, um, you know, we're just trying to try to put on our best show up on the runway, do the best that we can, but no, it's been a really fun night so far. After being in a stadium with 8,000 people, hopefully this won't be too bad. David says a little James Bond theme, we're kind of going with that, everybody has a little something different. This is kind of what he had picked out for me and I saw it and when I walked in I loved it, so um, I think we're all just excited to be here. It's going to be a fun event and they got pushed back a little bit, but it's going to be great. Playing football here in Tampa the last four years, the community does so much for us. Um, so it's really nice to do anything we can to, to kind of give back. Um, and then just kind of, I think we're all kind of passionate about charity in general. So um, if we can do a little something to help out, walk here, talk to people, it's just something really nice we can do and we're uh, just excited for it. Yeah, you work hard all season, you know, and this is your chance to come uh, look good. I was telling David, this is the best it's looked so far. You know, this is my third time doing it and he's gone all out this year. The charity is awesome and it speaks for itself, you know. We all know somebody that's been affected by cancer. So a chance to come out here and represent and, and help out the charity is awesome. The credit's got to go to David. He's a magic man. He knows what he's doing. Um, I'm not the style guy, so he, he put it up. Pinstripes, I'm looking good. So uh, he's killing it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just what he does. So the pre-game anxiety is a little higher. All right, a little higher. I'm a little nervous about it, but uh, we'll see. It'll be, it'll be fun. You know, we get to let loose a little bit, show people, you know, what we're like off the field. Um, and always, that's always really nice to be able to do that. So um, we don't want to be too flashy. And I think that's one thing that David did really well for my suit is, you know, he let me be kind of casual, but something that can work quite a bit. So any event um, that gives back to the community, especially, you know, somewhere where you play, you, you know, you do what you have to do. Um, it's always really big. So you just want to help out in any, any which way that you can. Some of the players had their significant others walk the runway too, and they enjoyed being part of tonight's event. Such an honor to be a part of David's event. I mean, he does such a good job. He puts so much hard work into it that we kind of see leading up to the event. And you said it yourself, he's the one who makes us look good. So he makes it easy for us. He makes us look good. We're so thankful for the opportunity and he gives back to the community here. So why not do it? It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful people, beautiful clothing, beautiful friends, and it, it, it's all for a good cause. And of course, many sponsors got involved too. The amazing part and what separates Bespoke from everybody else is, is David will come, he will show up to a commercial shoot. He will make sure that tie is tied perfectly. He'll make sure the suit fits perfectly. David is, is just, he's nonstop, go, 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 go. Love his energy and I feed off of it. It sets you apart. I mean, people absolutely go, they recognize that you dress differently. And again, I, I feel like there's something just with that, the recognition that you get in the professional setting is just amazing. I think at the end of the day, it's cool that we have all the celebrity athletes here. It's cool that everyone's dressed up. The women are beautiful. Guys all look great. The main thing though, is the charitable causes that David selects. You know, so many from the community came out to support the event, including 007 himself. He's an innovator, a great company, awesome product great human being, which is the best, right? He's just friendly, you love being around him. Um, the fashion sense is amazing. You know, we talk a lot, uh, kind of, this actually looks good, I like this, I like black and white. He's like, you know, put some color in your life. So a lot of us older guys that are kind of set in our ways, he brings innovation, he brings something new um, that is really enjoyable. I'm, I'm happy to represent with a bespoke, you know, suit and tie and shirt and all that stuff, but. Uh, they have a lot better looking people, like I said. We have an awesome locker room we have for the last, you know, several years. Um, it's what got us to the Super Bowl in 2020 and the success that we've had over the last three, four years. So uh, you, you've got to have a great locker room and it just, I, I can't say enough about these guys. Whenever there's a big event, all, everyone comes together, the Bucks, the Lightning, the Rays, you know, everyone comes, pulls together and, you know, and that's what makes Tampa Bay. One of the emotional highlights of the evening 
was when a brain cancer survivor came out to share his powerful testimony and put in perspective on what tonight was all about. My treatment plan consisted of surgery, 30 rounds of radiation, and four months of intensive chemotherapy. I will not say that it was easy, but I am here today. Let me tell you, this special Tampa Bay 007 Goldfinger evening will always be a night to remember. Really, really thank you, Tampa Bay. You have made this one of the best events in town. We are gonna keep delivering every year, so please come and see us next year. I promise it'll be bigger and better, and probably another great James Bond movie, so please come. Thank you to my, to my family. Thank you to my clients. Thank you to my extended family. I really appreciate everything. Thank you. Wow, what an absolutely incredible event. We raised a whole lot of money for a great cause. Well, that's a wrap from the 2023 Bespoke Company's seventh annual signature event. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, be sure to get involved and help the cause by visiting cancer.org. That's cancer.org. And to take your look to the next level, connect with David at bespokeandcofl.com. That's Bespoke and COFL.com. And if you need a party planner, check out RSBPEvents.com. That's RSBPEvents.com. Hey, there's more Good Life Tampa Bay on the other side of this break. Cause I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. Make sure it's a Golden Diamond Source diamond. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. In the Zone TV, when you need video production with marketing power, check out their website at inthezonetv.com. All right, that's a wrap for this segment of Good Life Tampa Bay. We hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we've enjoyed producing it for you. I want to thank our sponsors, Steve and Julie Weintraub and the Golden Diamond Source, Gino from Donatella Restaurant, and our production company, In The Zone TV. On behalf of the entire Good Life Tampa Bay crew, I'm H. John Mejia, and we look forward to seeing you on our next show.